Hi there, YouTube. It is I, the one, the only, Nadia Exotica. I haven't filmed in my room for a while, huh? I mean, like, I did a live stream for my bed, but it's been a minute since I filmed right here. Um, and actually, the last time I did, I think it was like I was facing this way. So please forgive the mess. This is all stuff for junk journaling and like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> stuff for my website just artsy craft crap <laughs> but that's okay okay I thrive in chaos at times oh man what a couple of days I feel so good still like I'm like oh um and well actually before I get into it I I'm wearing press on nails and I think I switched teams honestly like I have been getting acrylics since eighth grade and uh, I swear like I had I mean I was doing press ons like young young I would get those kiss press ons the French tips and they always popped off like right after I would put them on um but of course like people have come up with and um discovered uh new press on nail hacks and i've been like deep in the realm of press on nails and i'm pleasantly surprised uh these have been on for a day um and i'm i love i'm gonna stick to it um it'll save me money for one <laughs> and for two i i've finally come to the conclusion um that I love versatility with my aesthetics. I love changing my hair as often as I want. I love changing my rings as often as I want, doing different makeup techniques as often as I want. And nails should be no exception, like at all. They shouldn't be in the exception. I love the versatility of it all. And um, I've gotten comments about playing with my look and like, you know, the makeup and everything. And it's like weird because People oftentimes assume that because you are d decked out and like dripped in like a bunch of stuff that you don't love yourself. And it's like, as a matter of fact, I think it means you love yourself more because you are willing to express yourself any which way and you have the courage to uh, when most people would never, you know what I mean? Like you love yourself so much that you have the confidence to do such a thing, you know, regardless. Uh, people are so often scared to step out of bounds, you know, <laughs> and like change it up and shake shit up. And I was like that for a minute. Um, Raven jet black hair obviously is like the staple, but I was so scared to step out of that and throw on a wig in front of people and like, you know what I mean? And then once I did, or not so much throw on a wig, throw on a colorful wig, something different. But anyway, I digress. That's a tangent for a whole nother time. Here's a Vixie. Um, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the fact that Vixen can't choose whether she wants to stay up there or come down. <laughs> no, this video is about uh, hustling again. Okay, I'm touching on it again from a different standpoint. Um, but I also needed to share that um, this new job I started the first day, I was a little bit like kind of getting discouraged. Of course, it's never easy building or rebuilding, um, clientele. Like it, it's always nerve wracking because you don't know how people are going to perceive you. You don't know whether people are going to take the plunge and pursue services with you. Um, and this job was no exception. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, the first thing I want to get across in this video is that patience is a virtue, okay? I mean, as soon as I kind of like let all the expectations go, again, it's always with these expectations. You assume things are going to play out a certain way and lo and behold, it might even be pleasant, like more pleasant than what you'd expect, right? Um... So the first day was really slow. Phone wasn't going off. Like I didn't get any notifications until, uh, the second day, the second day, uh, towards like 2 AM <laughs> I had my first client. Um, and again, a service that is completely 
completely distant from what I had been doing. And at first I was nervous. At first I didn't quite know how my kind of uh, delivery would be. Um, but I did it. I performed the service exactly as I should have. And it was amazing. Like then, then, you know, I've, I, after your first couple of times of like doing something and try, trying to get into a routine or learn something. And in this case, it's not so much learn. It's just, I want to see kind of like, I'm playing with the delivery of it all. I'm playing with like how I convey certain things or what I tell to people or the story that is written to me, you know? And I mean, I don't want to give anything away. I do everything in confidence. Um, however, I mean, this one person I, I touched on, like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know where this came from again, too. I just don't know. But like, I was like, the landlord is going to become privy to something that is being done behind his back. And the results are not going to be so nice. It's going to be very detrimental. And this person was like, Oh, well, I forgot to mention da, da 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 And I'm like, that's quite actually the exact same thing I was picking up on. You know what I mean? And I got the shivers, the chills, like, which I feel is confirmation that I'm doing the exact thing I should be doing. Um, but so, and then it's like, it's just uphill from there. It's amazing. Um, I had a bunch of calls today, uh, did a bunch of readings. It was so fucking good. Got some really good feedback. I'm now posting my testimonials on my actual website so that way people can see them. Um, and it's so honestly just on brand. So, you know, a long time ago, I'm sitting there on my YouTube saying sex work, adult work is going to take me places. And it did. Like, to find out that what I was doing, like the root of it all, um, like at its core, the most valued part of it was being self-employed. You know what I mean? The most thing that I enjoyed like of it was being my own boss. And then to find out like that I could actually pursue other avenues while maintaining that status and that role, it's taking me places. Like this couldn't be any more fitting and it just works. It just works. And I mean, I'm even astounding myself <laughs> like throughout all of this so far, um, making a very handsome and jammy check so far. I mean, I'm a fuck the pay period ends in two days <laughs> and I only have two days in the game so far. Um, but it's like, I guess I didn't really quite understand what it meant when I said that like it will take me places and it's enabling me to do certain things I mean had I not had that experience of being self-employed I don't quite know that I would have been able to put my foot through this door you know and pursue this so I'm just so astounded <laughs> and then it makes me think back like okay listen I'm no stranger to the street hustlers if you've been watching, you know, okay? If you know, you know. Uh, I mean, the street hustlers who will literally sell you a left shoe, <laughs> like, who would get it any way they can. And some shystier than others, I will admit. Some, oh, more dodgier than others. But that for a long time, that was, like, my taste. That was who I enjoyed. Uh, and something that I found in common with them was that it's, like, it doesn't matter what what day it is. I was just about to guess. It doesn't matter what day it is. Truthfully, there's money to be made every single which way. And I'm talking aside from your nine to five. Okay, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you know, got to get this bread. You got to get this bread in other ways in addition to, you know what I mean? Like that is the root of it. It's so important that you don't close yourself off and like, <laughs> I'll admit my sister, <laughs> She's like, when I tell her all these different ventures I'm doing, she's like, why do you always have to make something into a career path? 
you know, kind of calling me out. And it's true. Like, I always have been like that. Like, I'm just like, I know I can do this good, so let me sell it. Only because there's a certain, like, there's just a certain level of passion that I put into certain things that I know people will enjoy out of it. Like, I know someone will get enjoyment and fulfillment out of it, okay? So it's like... I've just always been that way, you know, and same with the taste in men that I've, I've clung to that I no longer do really. Like, I mean, truthfully, if we can relate on that front of just like, there's money to be made, you know, yada, yada, that's great and all, but you gotta be hitting other points. It can't just be that <laughs> number one, number two, I don't like my property stolen and I don't like to be having to worry about having you around me and my things, you know what I mean? Like, nah. But, um, I've always resonated very much closely to people like that. People who saw opportunity and took it in a not so questionable way. I mean, like in a, in a positive way that benefits them and doesn't harm or, you know, cause, uh, disruption or, or anything like that to anyone else. Um, but I guess I'm just trying to inspire people that like you've got you you have to see opportunity and take it and it has to exceed your normal routine your normal nine to five okay like if you have a, a talent in something if there's something you're passionate about um then you should and you execute it tremendously you should offer it to people you know, who knows what people could be missing out on or like how you can enlighten them or, or that can bring someone enjoyment. You know what I mean? Or, or just like a positive desired outcome, you know? So I guess just it's important not to stop at one place and keep your options open and like pursue multiple avenues, truthfully. Um, this is so amazing and I would not have this opportunity had I not been on the path that I was on before. And discovering that something doesn't work out for you is tremendous. That's another good thing. It's good. You come to the conclusion, the realization, the, uh, epiphany that it's not for you. That's amazing. Then you can pursue something that is. And lo and behold, honestly, I really truly feel like I have found my niche. I really have. Um, and it's just, again, it can only go up from here. It really can. And so far it's like yielding amazing results. And I'm just so happy, you know, I will be on my back on my feet as soon as possible. And that's what the glory of it all is, is that I've been like showcasing this on my YouTube and you've seen me at my highs, you've seen me at my lows, and you're going to see me pick myself right back up again. Um, I love that. I love that. But that is so crucial to hustling is like just being like having cat like reflexes. Okay. And completely being on your toes. Um, fuck all the, the finessing and the, sh you know, the, the grifting, fuck all that. Like, uh, uh, no, no, no. It's about putting your nose to the concrete and grinding. Someone could put together a compilation of me saying nose to the concrete and grind and hustle, but seriously, like be a fucking go-getter. Be a go-getter. You could be, that's like doing yourself the biggest favor by doing that and not being kind of comfortable or content in something mediocre or half-assed, you know, or something so routinely boring <laughs> that you do. Um, no. Pursue a trade. Pursue something that's like aside from, that brings you joy, that brings you happiness that you really enjoy doing. Do it. Fucking do it. From your friendly neighborhood go-getter, okay? <laughs> do it. <laughs> what do you have to lose, really? Nothing. Not shit. <laughs> so, you guys, I hope that I can film in a new location soon. Like, I want to go out and do stuff, and I, I will have the means to. And stream. I want to stream from other places. I will. I will. I will. I will. So you guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or video requests, feel free to email me. My email is 
NadiaExotica at gmail.com. Follow all my links at NadiaExotica.com. And also don't forget to read my blog, which is NadiasCurioTrove.com slash blog. You can also shop my store, NadiasCurioTrove.com. Uh, and you can access my blog from there as well. So you guys, until the next video, you will be hearing from me very soon.